everyone, this is Sho, and today we are going to draw and talk about Durara. Now, I've just finished reading Vienne Press's 10 volume uh, set. There is a new one coming out soon called Durara Relay, I think, but that's not which one I'm going to talk about. And I'm not going to talk about the anime or the light novels either, just what's in these books. Now, my quick non-spoiler review of what the series is in a nutshell, basically everyone in Ikebukuro is crazy. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, at, from this point on, there's going to be a ton of spoilers because there's a ton of characters and they interconnect in ways that's... You just kind of have to give out some spoilers, I guess. Um... So let's talk about the first four volumes, which is the Dollars arc. This arc, it's it's mostly exposition. It's a lot of all these characters. You're learning who they are and their personalities, sort of, and just how crazy everyone is. Uh, you're mostly following Mikato as he just moves to this new city and the first thing that happens is he runs into the Black Rider which is a urban legend if you will of the city and this is exactly what he was looking for coming to Ikebukuro for some adventure but it doesn't stop with just him you meet his friend Kida who has really bad jokes Henri which is a quiet busty glasses fetishy girl for y'all, I guess. Uh, there's Mika, Seji, and Namie who are kind of more featured in and have actual plot in here. Mika is a stalker. She goes after Seji who's in love with a severed head that was at his sister's pharmaceutical company. And his sister, Namie, has a brother complex, so she'll do anything for Seji, even when he kills Mika. And I guess I could say spoiler alert, but really, it's, it, this is all. <clears throat> and that's pretty much the start of this. And then you follow along Mikado, who is about as interesting as a sack of bricks, until the end of the fourth volume, where you learn he is the one who created the dollars. And that was kind of interesting. I didn't expect that when I first read the series. So, I mean, take that at what you will, but the first four volumes are just kind of that. The artwork's not exceptional. It's kind of okay. They made some weird, questionable choices and page layouts and panels. Some of the choices in here just really just threw me for a loop because it just pulls you away from the story and... Uh, but it gets better as you get into this next arc, which is the Psych arc, my favorite arc. This one you're kind of following more of Henri and the slasher who was trying to go after Shizuo. And I guess that might be another reason I like it because it does feature Shizuo a little bit more and I happen to like Shizuo, although he's not my favorite. Uh, my favorite along with everyone else's is probably Izaya. But I just happen to like sociopathic and psychopathic characters, and he walks that very thin line between the two. Uh, but this one, I think maybe it's because it has more Henri in it, and she's super cute. And she runs around with a katana, and how do you not like someone who runs around with a katana? The artwork also gets better, it's a bit more uh, s streamlined, smoother smoother lines, more consistency, although Yen Press did not do a very good job with editing the typeset. There are many occasions where texts just leave their bubbles and start running into the actual image, and it's not supposed to. Uh, sometimes, sometimes text does that, or word bubbles do that, and it's for a style effect. These are just sloppy edits. They have text that will reach the bottom of a panel and peek out just below it. And instead of shrinking the text to fit or cutting it off as that's where it should end, it just keeps going. And it was distracting for me, but then again, I, I kind of notice stuff like this. Most people might not. 
Um, and then we move on to the final arc, which is the Yellow Scarves arc. And that features more of Kida's story. And I'll be honest, I'm not a really big fan of Kida. He's kind of boring. I mean, when he stood up for Henri in the Saika arc, I liked him then. But for the most part, he's not very interesting to me. He's probably one of the most boring characters in the series. Uh, him and Saki, which is his girlfriend that he kind of screwed over a little. Although she has this weird thing where she'll obey Zaya. And even when they explained it, I still didn't quite understand it. Uh, I don't know. There's a weird love-hate with the last three volumes. Just because there's, there's a lot of good story in there. And there's a lot that has to do with uh, Kodota and his group. And I really do like Kodota and everything that they got going on. Uh, but as far as whatever has to do with Kida and Saki, I just didn't care. Everything else I liked, those I just didn't give a fuck about. And they also tried to work in the traffic patrolman, which they didn't do a very good job at. And I don't want to compare it to the anime, but that's the most I can do at this point. Because, I don't know, that's pretty much where you only really see him and get any kind of story from him is in there. You just know that he chases Selty around. That's pretty much it for that. Um, I did like where it ended though. I, I felt it kind of gave it a, they've hit a time of peace, but clearly things aren't resolved. Uh, Selty still doesn't have her head. Isaiah's up to something you don't know anything about Simon at this point. They kind of hint at uh, Chizuo's brother and Isaiah's sisters whom are super cute and I really wanted to draw, but as they make one panel appearance, I really couldn't justify drawing them for this picture. Although I almost drew Henri as Saika in here, but I thought maybe that would be too much of a spoiler or people would just prefer Selty instead. And then I almost drew Isaiah because he is my favorite because I like crazy psychopathic characters. However, um, I thought it also might be a little too cliche because everyone seems to like Isaiah and Selty maybe needs a little bit more love. Although I do have a lovely figure of both Isaiah, Shizuo, and Selty on my shelves that I picked up when I was in Akihabara. And they are super cute and the Selty one inspired this picture. Uh, I, it's just a picture of her looking at her cell phone and the figure I have is just her with her scythe. Um, but maybe I'll draw another one. I, I almost wanted to draw one that kind of compared Mikado, Kida, and Henri to Isaiah, Shizuo, and Selty because they kind of have this parallel thing going on where Mikato is kind of in the shadows trying to control his little dollars group and he has this weird way where they kind of hint at it in the first four volumes and where he kind of has this power trip he gets off on it a little bit when he's in danger he kind of gets off on it um it almost seems like he's maybe will be the new Isaiah at some point in the future at least that's just kind of how it feels and then you have Henri, who is Saika, who's possessed by a demon blade that is a supernatural thing. And then you have Selty, who's a supernatural thing. And you always see those two together. You always see Mikado and Izaya together. And then there's Shizuo and Kida, who just kind of seem apart from them. Uh, they both kind of rely on brute force, uh, even though Shizuo is clearly superior in the strength department uh, and he's nowhere near as a coward as Kida is and they're, I guess they're both blonde-ish so whatever uh, and I'm wondering if that is where the author is going with this or has already gone with this again I haven't read the light novels and only read the first one and the rest of them are sitting on my shelf begging me to find time uh, but 
Yeah, that, that was the original idea for this picture. But then again, I don't know if I really want to make that comparison. And it would have taken forever to draw that. And I didn't want my first video to take fucking forever. Uh, 15 minutes, which I... I don't remember how fast I sped this up. I think it took me about five hours to just draw her. Just this simple picture was around four or five hours. There's a timestamp in the corner. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really care. Um, so, I mean, overall, as far as the series goes, I really like Dorada. -da. I like the craziness of it. I like the intertwined stories and how they all kind of interact with one another. And they're all connected. I don't know. It's, it's, just, it's just interesting. I really like the way they do all this. Although I do like the author. Um, what do we have for the author here? Ryogo Narita. Who did the Bakano series. And I like that anime. I haven't read, read it. And I don't even know if there's a manga out for it. If there is. I don't own it. Surprise. But I don't. Uh, but I do like this particular story. And... Actually, in Bakano, they do make reference to Isaiah, which was kind of funny. And in the new series, which I said I wasn't talking about the anime, but I am anyways, they had Miriam and Isaac, which... <laughs> oh, I love those two. Anyways, um, I just want to kind of like quickly go over a couple of characters that I might have missed. Uh, I know I talked about like Seji and... Namie. I never really talked about Shinra, who was the unlicensed doctor, and it's kind of like Selty's unofficial lover, official lover. I don't know if they're lovers, but they're a couple. His father, who I don't like. I just kind of want to pick him up and put him in the trash bin. Um, you have Simon, who is like a Russian sushi man. Actually, I don't think he makes the sushi. I think, I think he just sells it. Uh, big black guy. He's the only one who can stand up to Shizuo when he's in his rage mode. But they don't touch on him either in here. You know there's something about him, but you don't know what. And that's kind of sad. Like, when you find out a little bit more about him, it's sort of interesting. Him and his other uh, sushi partner. Uh, but I digress. Not much in, in the book about those. Uh, there's Kodota. Toguso, Yumisaki, Kadasawa, which is a band of four awesome characters who are always kind of in the background, but have almost major roles, and I fucking love them. I love Kodota, and he really needs more, more screen time, more character time in these books, and I really wish they did that a bit more. I think maybe that's one of the redeeming qualities of the Yellow Scarves as well, is that there was a bit more Kodota. Um, Togusa is, I don't know, I don't know anything about him, he's just kind of the driver. I think he's the one who owns the van that they drive around in, but meh. Uh, and then you have Yumesaki and Kadesawa, who are my spirit animals. I love them to death. They are crazy otaku psychopaths, and they constantly talk about anime, manga, and light novels make references to all sorts. It's just perfect. Uh, I think they're more like a comic relief, uh, but you always have to kind of describe them together because they're always together. And I love Kadosawa because she crack ships Izaya and Shizuo. That's so fucking funny. Uh, but me personally, I do too, but I'm a girl and all girls love boy love. I don't know, whatever. But I think that's pretty much all the other characters that I wanted to talk about that I felt needed more more time dedicated to them in the series that they didn't have. But, yeah. Um, I think I'm just finishing up this picture here. Yep. Pretty much done. I wanted to add a background color, but it just didn't look right. And white had that nice contrast against the shadow of Selty. So I just kept it with that. The part of me almost wanted to do a whole whole background, the whole city of Ikebukuro back there, which I've drawn before and it is a pain in the ass. But I just, I don't know, this contrast just works better. <laughs> I 
me trying to figure out where to put words. All words, where do they go? Yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it for this one. Um, if there's a series you want to hear me talk about or want to see me draw a character from, you can leave it down in the comments below. And if you like this video or you want to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye!